At Flagstaff Medical Center, our patients and their families have become partners with our entire healthcare team, and it's called patient and family-centered care. We used to do things to the patient. Then we decided that wasn't exactly what we should be doing. We should be doing things for the patient. And now we realize that we need to be doing things with the patient. So it's about incorporating patients and family into their care decisions. It's about um, making sure that we are treating their whole family unit versus just the patient. And it's helping the patients you know, have some control over their care. In the early stages of adopting this national collaboration, our patients, families, and hospital staff have witnessed dramatic improvements to the quality of our services and facility. Families are involved, they ask the right questions, uh, and it's been a very, very positive process. One of the nurses said, I can't believe this. I get out on time every single day. I have better information, more consistent information, and we're actually seeing a decrease in call lights because we're meeting the patient's needs right then and there. So with patient family-centered care, we have a pediatric advisory board and we have an adult advisory board. And they are past patients and past family members and community members who meet every month. And what they do is we give them changes we want to make in the organization. And before we make those changes, we actually ask them for their advice. Yeah, we get feedback from patients that tell us, boy, this would be nice if it was this way a little bit better. And then we're in a unique position. We can formulate a plan. Uh, we actually have hospital staff and, and uh, the brass from the hospital comes to our meetings and interact with us. So we get instant feedback, instant answers, and they can make things happen. It's really been rewarding. It's a culture that FMC is growing into. It just creates all this enthusiasm and people want to be a part of it. And they see the good that comes out of it. But because of them, we have new sleep chairs in our patient rooms. We have new menu items that they taste tested for us. We have a new design in our surgery waiting room that they designed. And a perfect example is uh, we thought the best thing we could do in that waiting room was to put in uh, water and coffee bar and all that. And they said, that's not what we want. They want a, a board that shows where their family member is in the scheme of things in the OR so that they could go get lunch and they can go to the lobby. They have made structural changes, they have made um, wayfinding more user friendly. We've got a, a patient a family resource center downstairs now with some computers so visiting uh, family from out of town can get online and take care of their email, stay up to date on work if they have to. Uh, it's kind of a nice resource. We've completely redone the parking garage, made it a little bit easier to navigate, brightened it up a little bit, color-coded each of the individual floors. Well, one of the things that the hospital has done is getting rid of visitation hours. So if you happen to be driving in from Colorado and you get here at 9.30 at night and you want to come and see your loved one, you won't be turned away. You know, now you can come in. There's not that um, strict level of a visitation that we've always had in the past. The Pediatric Advisory Board has redone the Pediatric Playroom. It, they walked in and one of the little girls said, this is inviting and looked around and they came up with this great inspiration on what they thought it would look like, what it should look like. The hospital has embraced it. And the only outrageous thing they asked for was a cow, which that was one thing we really couldn't meet. The foundation of Flagstaff Medical Center's patient and family-centered care is based upon four core principles, respect and dignity. What it, it truly means is listening to the patient and making sure that the decisions that are made in their care are what they want. So if I'm working with a Native American family, it's helping to understand and be sensitive to what they need as part of their healing process information sharing. Flagstaff Medical Center has started bedside reporting, so now when the nurse is giving report to the next nurse, it's with the patient. We involve the patient, any family members that are there, and it gives the patient a feel of control, and having them be able to make these decisions with the team has been extremely beneficial. They feel really included in their care, they feel like they know what to expect, they know who's coming in and who will be taking care of them, so it reduces anxiety as to, okay, I really had a good relationship with this nurse, but who's coming on next? Participation. The moment you come in as a patient at admission, 
we're planning your discharge. And so working with the family to know what special things we need to consider to help you get out the door and be able to stay home and to be safely able to care for yourself when you go home. And collaboration. And that's working truly with uh, our patients and families, not just while they're in the hospital, but we have a wonderful advisory council that, that is, is helping us to look at policies, processes, procedures, layouts of our facility. It's respecting the opinions of the people who use our service and not assuming for one minute that we know what's best. They know what meets their needs. They're uh, practicing patient family centered care in the emergency room. Uh, the ambulance people at Guardian are, are plugged into our program. All elements of the healthcare experience here are being affected by patient family centered care. This positive change can be seen throughout our hospital system. But perhaps the best examples are the ones that come from the heart. There was a young woman who had been diagnosed with cancer and she ended up in our uh, CV ICU. The prognosis for her was very, very poor. And so her longtime boyfriend, they wanted to get married before anything happened to her. The staff, under no direction except out of their, from their heart, they decorated the room. They put makeup on her. They put a veil on her. They allowed this family to have the wedding. That's what she needed. That's what the family needed at that moment in time. And our, that's where our staff met them. That's patient family center care. Patients, their families, health care providers, and an entire community working together to deliver the best in health care for generations to come. It is about remembering the reason you came into this profession. I just think patient family centered care is what health care should always be about. But the fact that the people in this community can have the confidence in the care that comes here and not feel like they have to go anyplace else, then we know we're doing the right thing. I love it. I love it. It's streamlined things and it's make, I feel like it's made me give better care to the patients. So it's nice that we've transitioned from being that great hospital in Flagstaff, I think, to truly becoming that excellent hospital.